Environmental Defense Fund created the Energy Innovator Series to feature breakthrough technologies and innovative business models that are paving the way towards a low-carbon, clean energy future. One such innovator is Extreme Power, an energy storage company that's building the world's largest battery system for Duke Energy at its wind power project in Texas. A research and development grant from the Department of Energy has helped jumpstart this promising project. Energy storage is critical to building out the smart grid. It enables clean energy resources to provide power when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. A smart grid will drive the clean energy revolution we need. It will help us grow our economy, secure our energy independence, and empower consumers while protecting our air, water, and health. Let's take a look at this promising innovation. It illustrates that clean energy is profitable, possible now, and crucial to lowering our dependence on fossil fuels. Welcome to Future 360. Austin, Texas is a hotbed of innovation. It's also the headquarters of Extreme Power, a producer of a unique power cell which promises to radically change the energy market. Renewable resources like solar and wind are intermittent. They're not available all of the time. The ability to store energy from these renewables is poised to be the game changer in the creation of the smart grid of the future. My name is Carlos Coe. I'm the president and CEO of Extreme Power. Uh, we are based here in Austin, Texas, in the, the exciting world of uh, clean, renewable energy, but large-scale energy storage and power management. So as everyone knows, wind and solar are great resources to have because they're renewables. The disadvantage of them is that they're not always predictable about when you would have power out of that renewable. So what we can do is add, uh, turn a variable power source like renewable into firm, dispatchable power. Ken Hashman, I'm the Chief Financial Officer of Extreme Power. Through our ability to digitally manipulate power, if the output from a wind farm drops or the output from solar drops, we can kick in and hold that constant power output for a long period of time and therefore make an integration of renewables into the grid really easy and really affordable. So in Hawaii, the first project we worked on was on, on Maui. That seems like a tough place to do a project, but it was on top of a mountain. And that first project was a pilot project to show that we could, in real time, smooth out the output from wind farms. Then the second project is a place called Kahuku, which is on the island of Oahu, near the North Shore, where they have all the great surfing championships. We went out in association with a 30 megawatt wind farm where our system is 15 megawatts in size and is large enough to not only support the output of the wind farm but support the uh, line voltage that's out there as well. So that 30 megawatt wind farm uh, is powering that entire north side of the island and so those 10,000 people are getting virtually all their power from that wind farm. Hi, I'm Clayton Such and my role here at Extreme Power is Principal Engineer. What we have here on these screens are our user interface for our energy storage system. And you can see the blue line represents the smoothed output of the wind farm. And what our system does is enable renewable energy to be more firm so that the utility can absorb it. The green line shows the output of the wind turbines, which varies with the wind output. And our system pushes and pulls energy to firm that asset so it can be absorbed by the grid. While renewable integration is the early play for Extreme, later applications include transmission and distribution services as well as energy storage for industry. I'm Jeff Layton. I'm the VP of Operations here at Extreme Power. This is our proprietary power cell technology that we use in our energy storage systems. There's a kilowatt hour of energy stored here and we use these in matrices and a thousand of these will power a, a small city for quite some time. We at Extreme Power, we are a cradle-to-cradle -cradle manufacturer. What that means is that all the systems that we ship into the field, we have an agreement with the owners of that unit that they have to return that material to us for recycling. And the power cells are highly recyclable to raw material and then we can turn that raw material back into new power cells. I think there's now 29 states that have those kind of targets set out between now and 2020 and 2030. It's hard to see how you can integrate renewables at that level to the grid without some sort of energy storage. I'm Walter Schindler, I'm managing partner of Sale Capital Partners and a member of the board of Extreme Power. The potential market for energy storage is about $125 billion on a global basis. We see applications across a wide spectrum of possible uses from renewable integration to mission-critical backup systems. 
So our future role is to represent the backbone of the 21st century grid and to be a backbone that's, that's clean. And so, so we can do the types of uh, services that the grid uses today with using fossil fuels. We can do that without using any fuel source at all. For renewable energies to be cost competitive with oil, gas and coal, it needs to be as cheap and as reliable. Energy storage with technologies like extreme power have a huge role to play in achieving that end.